Live in Chicago. No, we got to take the lens cap off. Okay. Now we're recording. <laughs> May. It's May 1st, 2011. We are just outside of Chicago. About noon, a little bit afternoon. John, what are we doing? We're visiting friend Paul, that known since 2006 online, and we're in this area. We're going to his unique machine shop. Then off later to quick look at his laboratory he set up. So we're on the road now, just going off to Paul's machine shop. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So, Chilly, nippy day for May first. Sunny. Yeah, it just seemed like there's a sign. Ah, oh, we're getting there. All right. We're signing off until the next. Signing off until a little later, folks. Paul's just over there. Waiting for us. Waiting for us, giving us directions. Catch you later. <laughs> R and M, is that what it's called? RPM. RPM. Russell Paul Jewelers. RPM Tool and Manufacturing. RPM Tool and Manufacturing. And so Better thread our way through this little streets coming along here. And this is Paul. Hi, Paul. Hello. Paul's going to show us his machine shop. RPM tools. RPM tool. Revolutions per minute. Revolutions. <laughs> Fast. Are we ready to go in? Yeah, let's go in. Yes, that's Find the key. Oh, there it is. It says LG. Welcome. Oh. Uh, Smelly oil. You got floodlights in here, huh? Uh, got what? Floodlights. Yeah. We're over here because we can't see anything in that area. It's never been plugged in here. Alright, now we'll look at all the lights. Now I can do it. So you want to tell us what some of this stuff is? Sure. We have different workstations. Well, let's see. But this whole area here is uh, where we do all our welding. You can take welding here. Okay. And this is? This over here is, this is all workstation. This is our boring slash milling machine. Horizontal. Oh, we love it. Jig boring, milling. Yeah, this is an old one. This is really good. Use it on many jobs. Uh, here's a big grinder. We have to get that wired up yet. 
because that was from our uh, location in Chicago that we took over and we moved it over here. How long ago did you move here? Uh, about one year now. Okay. Well, we've been in this building already for 25 years, but then we bought out one of our customers in Chicago and we merged it all over here too then. Okay. And what do we have here? So this is an automatic saw. Okay. And you put the material in there and it automatically feeds it out to whatever length that you want and or how many pieces you want cut off. Doing some drilling over here. This is uh, yeah, another Bridgeport milling machine. <laughs> and this looks like a, one of those rides that you get on for the space <laughs> shuttle that you... This is our Haas CNC turning center. That's got a fill in it. You know? Yeah. This is another Gatsol. We'll see what show you Gatsol in a Power it up there. And this automatically drills. It automatically does everything. It'll center drill, drill, it can turn the outside, bore the holes. Uh, getting work out of the of this stuff. Computer programming. So mainly this is all for turning ground parts. And what's this is what it's set up to do. And what do we have over here? Yeah. Took another automated machine. Paul, you wanna tell me real quick what this is? This is S7 and three part This is this is a C and C. Uh, it too, you can put a vise on there or a chuck or whatever you want to fixture your parts. And it does milling and drilling, uh, basically all the same stuff the turning center does, but uh, the square parts and blocks then. But see, this is what we're doing here. We're milling a hex on the end of that part that you just saw. Oh, cool. Put it in a chuck, it goes around. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Samples and parts we've been over the years. Okay. Do you want me to hang on to it for you, John? Oh, I'm... Oh, this is yeah, I made this one when we first took the CNCs and was able to hook it up to the computers then. Yeah. Like 70,000 lines of code to generate that. <laughs> I love it. And you've got you have stock over here. Is that what this is? Yeah, this is another guy. Actually, we worked with him. We we actually grew and expanded around him over the last 25 years. Okay, so this is his shop over in That's here. His shop, and he does all bar stock turning. Okay. See, uh, screw machines. And your stuff is still down this way. Down there yet too. Okay, we and keep moving. And a whole other back room that we didn't even go into yet. This is a very intricate part. Lots of details, angles, curves. Beautiful. There's something for a band strapping machine, the chrome plated. Mm -hmm. Tells us it just let her smell yesterday. Okay. okay. You can see the wildness in her face. She's got this lion type of face there. Yeah, but she was whining. She wanted us to come yeah, see her. Yeah, you're the one. So you, so you I think you're all the way in here. here. <laughs> and that's. Her. And this is her baby. Yeah. Hi, baby. So floppy here uh, had the babies in the building. Yeah. And they're running around loose in the building. You come after this camera. Will you? <laughs> Let's see, look at you. I want to you. grab another keys. I left them huh? down there. I want to make sure I don't lose them here. Okay. Kiki. Kiki.
そこでできるに Finished up a job in there not too long ago. Okay.、Uh, go over here. Another mill machine. And in this one, we're milling out this big section here. These are actually some weights.、Uh, after we machine them, we have to put them on a scale over here. Actually, make sure they weigh exactly 10 pounds. How,、uh, how many do you have to chuck so that they don't weigh 10 pounds? What's that? How many don't make the grade with 10 pounds?、Uh, none of them. They all pass so far. Cool. That's nice. <laughs> It's,、uh, I got the dimensions on the print. I had to calculate exactly how thick to make it and then how much yeah, weight、switch. would be lost in there. Stainless steel?、Uh, this one is 12L14. So that's got lead in it. So that's、okay. easy to machine. Great. And then we got another one over here. How many machines do you have in here, Paul? Oh, 